Hello everyone, Shadow Mario 41 here. We are back with more Let's Play Sim City with infinite money. Our residential zones are building up quite nicely. Commercial zones, industrial zones, all in high demand. So let's say, or what do you say, that we build another residential block in this video? I think that would be a pretty good idea, but first, first order of business, we are going to build, hold on. Let me get rid of this stupid road. We're going to put two commercial zones here again, just as another sort of buffer, because... I mean, would you want a stadium right next to industrial zones down here? I know I wouldn't. So that should be a, a good buffer between some industrial stuff that I put down here. Speaking of which, I am going to put industrial zones, another... Uh, I have to put a police station, don't I? Yeah. We'll do an industrial zone and a police station in the middle. Yeah, that'll work out nicely. No, oh, fiscal year. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that just becomes a nuisance when you play with infinite money. Uh, it's awful. I don't have time for your fiscal budgets. Don't you see where building industry, industry is more important than you? Okay, that should be okay for now. And we'll build the three commercial zones here. Since commercial is so high, let's keep building commercial zones. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now I guess just a waiting game again. Waiting for our residential zones to develop, our commercial zones to develop. We will build another... The next residential block will probably be right here, so that'll be pretty nice residential territory, actually, because it'll be right near the stadium, and I'm going to put the large park in the middle of it, so that'll be really, really nice property. So I'm sure there'll be high demand for that. But I want to wait till these develop. That's usually the strategy you want to employ. If you build up too much at once, like if I just built residential zones everywhere, they'd all be low residential zones. They wouldn't be very productive. Oh, hey, we got a top up here. Nice. All right, we could actually get full tops in this one. I could aim. I should aim for full tops in that one. I will. I'll wait, though. Plenty of time. Do you notice sometimes... I don't know if it's just me. Like, I listen to the music, and sometimes certain sound effects in the music fade out and fade in, like, when they're not supposed to. I guess that's just part of the game, because it can't be like a console glitch or something, since I'm not on a, the console version of the game. But whatever, the music is still awesome. It's relaxing sometimes, but in the more, you know, when we get into higher populations, it'll get more upbeat. It'll just be really nice. And speaking of which, we're about to advance to the next level of population. Um, I, let's, yeah, I should probably explain the population levels. First, you start off as a village. A village has zero citizens. Then you go to a town. A town has 2,000 citizens. Then a city. I think a city is 20,000. But I don't remember. You can check. Oh, yeah, you can check. But I think it's... And we got college names. Uh, I think it's 20,000. It might be 10,000. But I think it's 20,000. And what the hell are they doing? Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Screw them. Um... And then finally, well not finally, then a capital is at 50,000, then a metropolis is at 100,000, then a megalopolis, which we will not be aiming for, is at 500,000. And the reason we won't be aiming for it is it just takes too long to get there. I mean, we could go for it, but it would just be a lot of sitting around and doing the same thing. So I don't really think I should waste your time with that. Um, but, like I promised in the last video, we are going to build an airport, because we need to eventually we need to build an airport and a seaport. So let's start out with an airport, right here. Very nice. Um, airports and seaports, you really only need one. Well, actually, no, you need more than one airport eventually, but you really need only one seaport. Um, and one airport would be good enough for now. We should put a... Uh, police and fire next to it though, just in case. And once we build an airport, we actually get an airplane that flies around. 
So we'll be able to see it on the map flying around airplane. Nice. Okay, how are my residential zones doing? Not bad, not bad. These could be a little better. Yeah, it could be a little better. I got another top up there, so yeah, I am going to do a little demolishing. Die! Screw all you people. And we'll build another new residential zone that will hopefully be a high residential zone. There. Should, unless it's a stupid school or hospital. You know how much I hate schools and hospitals. So useless. Ugh. Seriously, you can gain more education on the streets than you can in some school systems. But I'm not going to delve into that right now. For obvious reasons. Okay, waiting, waiting on my city to build. Yeah, I can get, like I said, this is why I do it with infinite money, because if I wasn't with infinite money, it would be more of just waiting around for nothing. And I mean, that's boring. I mean, it's cool to see a city grow when you play, but as a viewer, I can imagine that that would get boring. So, trying to spice it up as much as possible. Let's take a look at, yeah, we might as well look at how my city's doing. We have some tops, we have some highs, uppers, obviously the airports and police stations and stuff don't get levels, they're just the same. These are only low industrial zones, I wish they'd get a little higher than that. Um, we can see all the other stuff, very nice. And I like when it shows tops, that just makes you feel so accomplished. The top, that's the highest you can go. Nice. Commercial zones can also join as tops. I'm hoping this one will join with this one, or this one, or this one will join with something, so it's ready, but commercial zones are really unstable because there's, I guess you can say there's kind of an economy in this game, I don't really know, but commercial zones can rise and fall sometimes, so I mean, you can have uh, a top and then it can go back to being two buildings, then it can go back to a top, but with residential zones it usually stays a top, so you don't really have to worry about that. You can see a nice airplane, but when you do get an airport, that does open up the disaster of a plane crash. Um, disasters are things that can happen randomly, or you can trigger them, but uh, usually they're random because you wouldn't want to trigger a disaster onto your city. And uh, a plane crash is, is one of the easy, not as bad ones. There are some really bad, like an earthquake is really bad, and uh, some others. I'll go over all those at the end of the project, though, at the end of like when our city is complete quote unquote since it's never really complete you don't really win but yeah when our city's complete I'll go over disasters so you can watch things destroy the city that'll be fun that'll be a lot of fun that'll be tons of fun I'm looking forward to it already destruction yeah death and destruction awesome Okay, um, we should probably build a seaport soon. A seaport, interestingly enough, doesn't have to be on the sea for whatever reason. I don't know why. kind of makes sense that it should be waterfront, but it doesn't have to be. But I should build one down here. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. So, just so we have one, and we don't have to worry about it later. And what do you know? Look at that. We have a seaport. Now, seaport and airport will create tons of pollution, though. So, I mean... Ooh, an expo. Uh, expo is, will help industrial zones. So that's really nice. I should put that somewhere in my next industrial zone group. Or actually, I should put it like somewhere up here. Low, low, low. Come on. Alright, I'll put it in one of the lows. I'll put that here. Yeah. Yeah, expos are a big help to industrial zones, so... Power our industrial zones. Nice. I can stay there. Okay, we need to give this thing power since we haven't yet. And let's build some roads. Let's stick with our even path. I'm actually going to fix that up a little bit. Ooh, we're right. We're a capital. Yeah, all eyes are on you, so it's time to show your stuff. Yeah, this is really when you need to build airports and seaports at this this point in the game. And we get a music change. Catchy. I'll put a commercial zone here. Just because we have a spot for something extra, so... 
Hey, fiscal budget. Screw you, fiscal budget. We don't care. Yeah, I'll put a commercials on there. Just because we need something extra. And once we build a seaport, we get, obviously, boat. Just like we got a plane with the airport. Give me a tree. Thank you. I'm going to fix all that in a minute. Where's our boat? There it is. So we have a boat that will appear randomly on the map. It won't do anything. Just like the plane won't do anything. But it's there. It's nice. Nothing wrong with a boat. So we have a train, planes, and not automobiles. We have boats. That's okay. Ah, uh, we'll probably be stuck at Capital for a while. So, I have to actually go because the video time's almost up. So this is Shadow Mario 41. See you next time. Watch some city with infinite money.